advent calendars. I have, oh, I've gone way over the top. I didn't mean to, I've been buying them for months. Four out of the six were half price or a reduced price. Um, and I hadn't really sat down and worked out how much I'd spent on all of them. And it's a lot. You know, if my calculations are correct, I've spent, I hope family is not watching this right now because they'd kill me, 179 pounds on calendars. Why have I done that? I don't know. I'm a moron, apparently. But I will explain, because I've got, this is the most expensive one. But um, basically, Darren is my husband. He has type two diabetes. So I thought it would be smart to get non-chocolate ones because obviously when I was a child growing up Catholic and all that lot I had a paper one and it was very exciting because on the 24th you got a picture of the nativity scene with baby Jesus and goats and cows and sheep it wasn't goats I don't think donkeys that's the one and uh, nowadays it's much more common to have like the chocolate calendars and with Darren having the diabetes we decided to try and move away from that have the children be a little bit more health conscious also I'm a gigantic fat moo so moving away from that it's a good excuse to get beauty calendars right and and toys <clears throat> maybe not the kicker the best bit about this is none of these are for Darren so the idea was to get non-chocolate ones because he can't have one la 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 and he doesn't even have I fail as a wife I'm like the biggest tit on the internet but let's have a look at them this is actually a gift for a family member I think it's the techniques calendar it's 12 days of Christmas calendar so you open it on Christmas day and you need to start I don't know if you're supposed to start with day one or day 12 I don't know whichever way around you want to do it and um, for the 12 days of Christmas you get to open one of the boxes here and get a little treat and it has a picture of what you get on the back so you've got like your mascara matte lipstick I think normal lipstick gloss bronzer blusher eyeshadow classic stuff but apparently it's really really good quality makeup so i'm hoping the recipient of this actually likes it this is also a gift for a family member that i love very much this is the tanya burr calendar it's another 12 days of christmas one it's very sparkly and pretty and it was originally 30 pounds and i got it for 15 pounds also from superdrug um so definitely check out superdrug there's probably not going to be masses left but if there is that it's a really good place to get these calendars so i'm hoping the recipient of this beautiful one appreciates it because I'm jealous. Next up, this is actually Alice's calendar. She's so excited. I got it because it's kiddies makeup and it's got like your Frenchies and Chihuahuas and all these really cute puppy dogs and she's just, she's just busting for it. It has actually got children's makeup in it, mostly lip balms, which you can see from the back here. Hopefully that's in focus. And so it's like children friendly and she's very, very excited to, to get her very first sort of makeup calendar. But I definitely pressed the message that makeup is to express yourself. It is self-expression, it's art, it's passion, it's fun. It's not because she's not perfect, it's not to hide who you are, it's not necessarily a mask that she has to just get joy out of it and, you know, express her artistic self. So I was a little bit wary, like at nine years old, is it too early to give her a makeup calendar? But I decided, do you know what? No, she knows that she's perfect. She knows that she's loved. She knows she is exactly, exactly who she's supposed to be. So I feel safe in letting her have this. This one is my one. This one Darren got me and he got it off of eBay at a reduced rate. It was, I think he paid with, it was nearly 10 pounds poster. She paid 20 pounds for the actual calendar. Look at it, it's so pretty. It's got just so much stuff in it, like uh, perfect and protect serums and primers and day creams and night creams, as well as lipsticks and I think some eyeshadows. It's got everything written on the back. It's even got a body wash and exfoliator. And I'm busting, I kind of like want to rip in here and get everything out, but I'm going to be patient and do it actually over Christmas. But this was originally £39 and it's sold out. However, if you want a 25-day calendar, as this is from the 1st of December, Marks and Spencer are doing one. And Lauren on Chatty Mum Lauren Hampshire, I will put a link in below, is actually going to show you what she's doing a video for tonight or tomorrow. Actually, it would have been yesterday night because this is my Saturday video. She's actually uploading a video showing you all of the stuff from that one. So do go and check her out. This is the first non-makeup beauty one. This is from Asda. It's the Simsum vinyls, um, sort of stackables. So you've got these little dudes going on in here. It's ridiculously cute. With postage and packaging, I think it came in at £39 or £38. So it is 
slightly more expensive than your average calendar but still has nothing on its counterpart kids are busting to open it they wanted me to do a youtube video where i was filming them opening these two calendars uh, as sort of an openings video because you know mummy we need to film it but i've refused so they're gonna actually have to open these but i will be doing a vlogmas and i'll be showing the toys from here and the toys from that big gigantic bad boy back there last but certainly not least is the most expensive calendar i have ever purchased in my life this is the Disney Store's plush Sum Sums calendar. It's limited edition. There was only a thousand produced in Europe, I believe. Um, and it's 80 pounds. I genuinely didn't think I'd get one because it's so limited edition. Sum Sum Tuesdays is like this crazy manic event and people are cheeky in the bar uploads and sell them on eBay. Like these things are selling for like 300 pounds on eBay in some places or 180 or something. Let's said it cost me 80 quid. So I could make a hundred pound profit, which is very tempting, but I would not be that. I just couldn't be that rude <clears throat> so i just thought hey i'm gonna see if i can buy one and i got one and i'm not sure if i'm happy or not i'm really not darren sneaking in i can't figure out uh, should i be happy that i got one of these sweetie or not yes yes he was pushing me i was like oh, do you know i've got one should i just should i check it out should i see if i can buy it? he's like yeah go for it and i was like you are a bad influence so this is my ridiculously large advent calendar haul i don't actually know what's wrong with me clearly i have some mental problems what calendars have you got? Has anyone else done anything this crazy? Am I alone with being a moron and spending way more money than I should have? I should have just got three one pound cheap nasty chocolate calendars from the range or something, but instead, more on alert. But yeah, let me know below which calendars you've got, what beauty calendars you've got. Have you got any videos where you're showing them? Let me know, because I really would be interested to see them. And don't forget to check us out at Vlogmas if you want to see us opening some of these babies every morning. All right, I will love you and leave you, and I will see you all soon. Bye.